Hi everyone, it's me Nandini Devi, the Shakti Guru, and today I'm sharing with you your timeless reading. Anytime you show up for this video is the right time for you. There's lots of timeless videos on this channel. Pick at them intuitively. I say engage with them by taking a deep breath and maybe even looking at the title. Let your intuition guide you. Let your spirit guides guide you to the messages that need to come through. Okay, so today's reading, I would encourage you to get relaxed, get cozy. You know, or maybe you're on a walk, maybe you're taking a walk or you're on the train or wherever you are. Just get comfortable in yourself, in your body. So you can take note of what resonates for you and what doesn't. Okay. So I'm going to clear the space by three ohms. And you can do them with me if you want or you can just listen in. Om. Okay, that was powerful. All right, this space is a space of peace, of love, of wisdom. We come here to get clarity, to get ease and community. Feel free to join the Patreon if you want. It's in the link below where you can get a personalized reading if you feel that it's the time for you to connect and get something more intimate geared towards the details of your personal life if you're watching this in october 2022 i have a special going on until the end of october so you can check that out it's also on my instagram it should be posted on a flyer in my instagram okay let's see what the cards want to say for this collective in alignment with peace love and ease in alignment with peace, love, and ease. Okay, let's see. So I see the center of this reading right now has to do with a situation that's helping you to build strength. Okay, it's bringing strength into your life or, or courage. It's asking you to be courageous, it's asking you to be strong. And it's asking you to trust in the universe. And sometimes that's challenging because we like to control everything and we want to know what's going on and we want to have all the details and we want to be able to say what to do and how to do it. But that's not what's happening right now, okay? There's a lot of love in the situation. I see that there's a lot of like potential and love and connection. It could be romantic. It could be friendship. It could be a positive collaboration because we're in a time of collaborations being heart fulfilling. Okay, it's, we're no longer collaborating just for money or clout or whatever. We're collaborating out of the need to uh, have mutual space and and a higher awareness and we engage with people who are in alignment for us that's that's the vibe that i'm feeling right it's like co the collective watching of this right now you're more intentional about your connections you're intentional about the relationships that you're forming on all in all aspects of your life okay we have the ten of pentacles with the eight of wands so for anyone who's experiencing some kind of like financial setback or stress or something to do with your stability or your home oh my god it's gonna change like like it's changing okay and you know it's been a rough time maybe you know maybe it's been a little bit of a stuck time a little bit of can't see what's in the future don't even have any idea like 
is this gonna change i'm working so hard i'm doing what i need to do but you're also refocusing i see some of you who have been like very money focused or work focused are actually taking time to invite in more love and community and connection and that's also very nourishing sometimes it's not about working at the thing that we want to accomplish it's like it's giving it a rest for a second you know like giving it a break for a second and letting other things in your life and other aspects of your life be nourished so that you can come back to this with a fresh mindset i can see that some of you are having a hard time having community maybe you don't feel loved or you don't feel appreciated or you don't feel like you belong so if this is you if you're having a hard time you may not um yeah you may feel like you know a little serious right now maybe you're withdrawn or maybe you're you don't feel like you can connect there's some distrust here indecision you know feeling like it's scary to connect to people maybe you were dealing with some kind of like gossip or i don't know something happened maybe something was said or you feel kind of like a coldness around community and you know something is coming in here some kind of conversation or connection is coming in for you those of you who are feeling um like you can't really receive love and connection right now you are going towards smoother waters you are going to be you know and mentally as well like mentally being in a better place okay and there's going to be some kind of karmic balance if you were harmed or hurt in community like let's say you are not feeling like you can connect to other people because you experience something that you're like wow like this is how it this is how it is you know and you're hurt but the thing is that, that there's going to be harmony again okay there's going to be harmony there's going to be connection you're going to have your people you're going to have your people they love you you are loved okay spirit has your back and things are changing it's like you're everyone that you, is part of your collective crew is probably feeling the same thing okay we have the judgment card here and we have the temperance card the judgment card is is yeah the collective is feeling it your collective your collective might be feeling the same way they're all all going through collective betrayals or stress and they're and like everyone is learning what i want and what i don't want what are the what are some signs not being you know overly vigilant and hyper alert to a situation you know um but more like just aware of how to navigate things in a more safe way and the collective and both these um cards they have red wings there's a sense of passion everyone wants this and your spiritual guides want this as well they they are passionate about their their connection towards you and how you're going to build this community or how you're going to be accepted into a community whatever way it comes about there are people in your midst who have been feeling really defensive, like maybe there's someone that you know or somebody that's struggling with something and they're not really sure how to connect. Maybe this could be you. Maybe you're struggling and you're feeling defensive. And your guys are encouraging you to take a moment. Like just take a second, rest. Sometimes we're agitated, frustrated, upset because we're tired. And the inner child, the inner baby is like, when? I'm tired. I don't know, you know, like, maybe you're hangry. It happens. <laughs> it happens. It's hard to take care of these bodies. We have to drink water. We have to eat food. You know, we have to get sunshine and play and work and sleep and friendship and meditation. And we have to do those things in a cycle that nourishes all aspects of our lives, you know. Yeah, it's it's challenging. I mean, if you're it's really the center of my work with intuitive counseling is supporting people as they manage their like creating their support system or learning what that balance is, you know? So if you need to reach out and get a consultation and see if we would work well together, please do that. We have the 6 of wands and the 10 of wands. You're going to be victorious over the hard work that you are experiencing. Also, I see that for some of you who have been working really hard and you're like, how much harder can I do this? 
that somebody who's in a better place might come along and help you or somebody who knows what this is about and it can help you like ease off a little bit and, and a new beginning i also feel like a relationship that some of you have been working on or connecting to is like having a new uh, reawakening it's the same type of relationship maybe you felt defensive maybe you felt stressed maybe you felt like ah what is this thing but it's having like a restart it could be a friendship, a connection, a collaboration. Like I said, relationships do not always have to be romantic. There could be queer platonic. Somebody is learning something. You or another person is learning how to navigate these moments of tension and stress. So maybe you are getting better tools. And you know, maybe some of you are like learning how to slow down. Like, oh, when I'm feeling stressed like that, it's not an indication that I need to solve a problem or you know do all this stuff sometimes it just says slow down and let let life occur and happen and flow <sighs> i'm sorry i just sometimes i see this card and i'm like why we have the six of cups the ten of swords and the knight of pentacles and i guess some of you are probably saying that too like why why is this happening i'm confused i don't know what to do life is just hard right now i just want to scroll on my phone will i ever achieve my goals will i ever achieve my goals you know that's kind of coming up and 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 you gotta like there's some letting go you know there's some letting go there's some healing that needs to happen because Things have been done. Things have been said and done in a way that just, you know, it makes you maybe feel uncomfortable and to yourself. But you know what? Your guides have created everything the way that it needs to be so that you can have some time alone. Maybe if things were so easy to be in this community or to go do this thing or to achieve this goal, you would never have taken the time to reflect. And your guides are prompting a period of reflection and download like spiritual download you know some kind of initiation or growth or you know because initiations are growth as well they're they're chapters of our lives that are beginning right we have the queen of cups and the nine of pentacles you can trust yourself and your your feelings are giving you a lot of information right now and your feelings are going to help you to grow independent in any situation that you're in it's important to have your autonomy while being interdependent not not independent not codependent interdependent we rely on each other we connect uh we are a network we are a support system for each other and we need to accept that there is no such thing as your own you were your own person far away from everything you can have autonomy inside of a group and that includes mutuality okay so for some of you it's about discovering how you can be in community and your true self at the same time how you can be in a relationship and your true self at the same time this takes time and work this takes time and work okay you will be successful and you will achieve your goals and you will be independent autonomous loving there's something coming to an end here something that needed to end so that you can feel this way and so that you can be in your truth and as this thing is ending you will be like proud of yourself i see some of you realizing like oh i don't have to need i can want you know like i am actually getting all my needs met and i can tune into my spirit guides and, and have my needs met I think somebody's going to contribute into your life as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think somebody's going to come into your life and contribute into your life. The number 11 is really pre present right now. 11 for money or wealth or stability or connection or something that's moving on to the next level. So 11, 11, or if you're seeing the number 11 or it's the beginning of something or, you know, you live on the 11th floor or your building number is 11, has 11 in a street or whatever, you pass by something, it says 11, whatever the case is. 11 seems to be in a, a number that's important for some of you. That has to do with balance. Well, that has to do with balance. What's falling away here? <sighs> the wheel of fortune. Good things are coming your way and they're coming your way in a way where you're like, this thing is not normally good, but it's good for you right now. It's not something that you would associate with being, oh, this is great. Like, uh, like what a pleasant surprise. Normally, if people hear this thing is coming around, they're like, Ugh. but for you, 
it's going to be a good vibe. It's going to be good news. Most people are going to hear it. They're going to be like, that, is, that sounds wacky. That sounds wacky. That sounds messy. But for you, it's going to be good. For you, it's going to give you something. It's going to allow you to move on from something that you needed to move on from. Okay? It's going to allow you to go somewhere and do something that you need to do and have community and connection and a family and 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 togetherness and whatever it is that you need whatever it is that you need right now it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming in it's coming in it's happening it is being divinely guided you have a spirit guide who is overseeing everything right now they're like all right so yes this came up this block this situation this betrayal this negativity this gossip this fear this that also some of you are being cleared of people who were gossiping about you let's 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 actually do a clearing right now too there's a clearing of people who were gossiping gossiping about you you're gonna hear the bell again yeah people who were just like talking nonsense onto you right those people are out let's spritz them as well goodbye all right so we don't deal with that anymore there's a there's a, 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 a an, there's a like it's like a cutting like something's being released out it created a lot of indecision for you maybe that person was blocking you with their words or their spells or whatever and they're being cleared out or people it could be multiple people whatever is being said that was being spoken onto your body your name is being released fully cut out released and you're protected some of you are finally getting that connection that love or whatever that you wanted or you're finally opening up to somebody right for some of you it's you you are you didn't want to say it you didn't want to be your truth you didn't want to like let people know so maybe you thought something had ended but you're facing it you're like no actually this is what i want this is what i want and and, and and you do have to protect yourself and save and conserve, but you don't have to be alone. You don't have to cut yourself off. You don't have to isolate. You can protect yourself. You can have boundaries and in community at the same time. You can have boundaries and in relationship at the same time. You can have boundaries and in your workspace at the same time. Whereas in before, it felt like flight or fight. You're learning. You're learning how to navigate this. And love is coming in abundantly in all of your environments, in all of your aspects of your life, in all aspects of your life. Love is coming in abundantly. Okay, let's say you're like, oh my God, no, because it feels like this over here. That's because that aspect of your life is still in works, okay? But it might be that you need a break from that period or that situation or whatever, right? Maybe it's like family or, you know, whatever your work situation or you know maybe it even just a habit that you're you're attached to that you need to like focus where the love is coming in because there is a lot of love in some situations where you thought you had lost you know you thought you had you were anxious you were worried you were stressed and here it comes comes right back in very quickly okay it, it comes right back to you and and the thing is is that you don't feel worthy you're some of you are stressing maybe you don't feel like you're you're worthy because you're not making enough money or you're not having the life that you really want to have and you're like how can i do this and you're like other people are better than me cut it out cut it out we have the world card cut it out there's no time to self-hate there's no space for self-hate right now there's no space for self-doubt and self-hatred and self-loathing right Th those are blocks to our own treasures to our own gifts our blessings our guides do not want us to sit around wasting time on ruminating on the ways that we hate our ourselves and counting the ways that we've been betrayed and why we've been betrayed and somehow it's our fault they don't want any of that we have stuff to do we have things to do things are are changing trust trust in the higher guides that you have trust in your higher self and your higher power Okay, we're going to pick one last card, the healing with the angel's oracle. And we're going to get one last message for anyone who needs this angel oracle message. Remember to like and subscribe to support this channel. You can check on Patreon. There's some very accessible tiers on there. And there's lots of other readings and meditations and things that I don't post on YouTube. And it's also a nice way for you to say thank you so that we are in mutual space here. And of course, I enjoy it regardless. I enjoy reading for you and I enjoy doing these readings. They're really fun. 
even though sometimes they're challenging i know i've done some readings on here where i'm ending it and i'm like <sighs> but this one feels really positive and loving and a lot of good things are happening it just feels like a lot of worry and anxiety right it feels like a lot of worry and anxiety but it actually feels like overall good things are happening so we're gonna get out of our head for a moment we're gonna let it happen we're gonna let the good stuff come in your card for this pull is manifestation This is not necessarily something that you only wished for, but it's something that a higher vibration is bringing into your life. This is something manifested by divine. This is divine manifestation. So it, you could be embodying a certain energy that is in alignment for your path. Your guides have chosen you to take on a mission and you don't have all the details and it's manifesting right before your eyes in alignment with your joy as well. They are like, okay, how can your guides have an awareness of how to do things that benefits the collective and their plan and yours at the same time. They're like, I want you to feel good when you're doing this. I want you to feel nourished and taken care of. They're not gonna, you know, they're not like a shitty employer. You know what I'm saying? Like when God employs you to do something, they're not going to, like, put you in shitty conditions to do it. Like, they're going to, like, put you in the most lavish, luxurious spaces. Like, you're staying at the best hotels and, you know, there's, like, a pool and you get, like, fancy food and, like, you get taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get taken care of if you're in mission with the divine. And, you know, I know we can look back and see, like, there's monks and yogis and nuns and people who, you know took the path of chastity and celibacy and poverty and all those things and made vows and whatever and that doesn't not have to be you like you can break all those vows from past lifetimes you know that's another thing that is very possible to do is create like you know distance and 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 healing from those lifetimes that we had where we did those things okay um like i said reach out if you need assistance if you need support spiritual mentoring whatever resonates for you and i'm sending you all so much so much love thank you for letting me read for you thank you for trusting this space and connecting into this space sending you all love thank you